Hey, this is Nelson from Gary and Nelson in sunny Lincoln, Nebraska. No, it's not. It's miserable here. But luckily, you're not stuck here. You are listening to the Hoppy and Super Rich Show. And we are going to bring back on the phone line, because that was 20 minutes of Radio Gold, my mentor, my friend, a radio consultant legend known as Radio Dexter. And he is going to give his take on everything else that I want to ask. What is your take? Have you ever seen the show Archer on FX, the adult cartoon? Yeah, you know what? I, I tried. Well, after you talked about that last week, I, I did try to catch. Uh, uh, I try to catch it, and I, I just I can't get into it. You have to watch it from the beginning because it's literally funnier and it's better written than any other crap that's on CBS with the fake sitcoms. But here's my point. The agency. The show's been on for a half a decade. The agency is called ISIS. And all of a sudden, Adam Reed, the creator, he's a genius. He's made Sea Lab and Frisky Dingle, two legendary shows on Adult Swim. The guy's a comedic genius. He faltered under the pressure. And he's changing the name as if the last five seasons never had the word ISIS. Like, what is your take? Like, the episodes that they just made with the word ISIS, he's having them painted out. What do you think? You know, this... this and 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 Hollywood and and film and media and radio, they're they're all in on this crap. It's like, stop being so apologetic. It's like every time wait, you offend wait. somebody, yeah. I mean, it's like prime example. Snoop Dogg and, and Iggy Azalea were in a drop down drag out fight on Twitter, and if if you watch Snoop Dogg's uh, apology, <laughs> it wasn't an apology. It was total. It was a total bucket of crap. I love but it. it, it it was funny as hell, wasn't it? Because but, um, she has like, no talent. He's one of the greatest, not just rappers, but one of the greatest musicians of all time. And she's auto trash. She's nothing but a black widow, and she claims she's fancy, but her voice, I swear to God, her voice is like nails on a chalkboard. I don't get how she's one of the top rappers. Dexter, do you want to hear a sound that's greater than her rapping? It's my cats fighting last night. It's the more riveting. I would rather listen to that on loop for three minutes than listen to Fancy. So I, I thought it was a... I, what's up? When I was four years old, play that again. Hit that again. One second. Let me get this potted up here. This is my cats last night. Dean, No, and Lily, they weren't fed, so they were fighting at two in the morning. Here's a clip. Check, check this out. <laughs> that, was, that was the sound when I was four-year-old when I, when I hit the on button of the dryer and my cat was in the dryer and it, true story you know i lived it was fine i mean you know she walked around acting like cheech and chong for the rest of her life but, she was fine. Um, but i mean and my mom said that oh my god he, he's a sociopath we need to get him the counseling i honestly didn't do it because i knew the cat was in there it was warm so i mean that's funny so my point was but, so, I mean, why are we so apologetic? Why are we... The fake outrage police. We always have to say we're sorry. What happened to sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Now, all of a sudden, you'd rather be whipped than have something mean said to you. Good for Snoop Dogg for calling her out. She's unlikable. And then she had this quote, dude. Oh, I love this quote. Oh, I love this quote. She goes, well, every time I've been around Snoop, he's nothing but a gentleman and a class act. Is he really? I'm not saying he's not a good guy, but he walks around high 24-7. And I could say that. If somebody were to talk smack about me here at school, I'd be like, well, every time I came across him, he seemed like a class act and a gentleman or a class act and a classy woman. Like, that's just a phrase that her PR person told her to say to make her look good. Like, I'm sure they don't get along. I'm sure Iggy Azalea isn't exactly the easiest person to be around. Enough of you. Well, I mean, it, it, as a side note, it's something even I thought about that too. I was I watched the BET award. I don't know why, because I think I got a contact buzz just from watching. Maybe because you were so <laughs> drunk off of vodka, you're just like, "Hey, let's see what's on TV." And you no, I it. seriously, no, you're right. I need I need a cat scan and a glass of scotch because I've had you know this has just been driving me nuts. <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, I, I and you know what's funny is I remember. You know, remember, you probably, well, I really don't remember it either, but remember the song F the Police and all that stuff and Ice Cube and, and all that? Now Ice Cube's a, fa a family guy doing family movies. 
It's like, how are we there yet? Is? Are we he ready? So, he, is yeah, the car yeah, on? He, he, Do you have your so clothes? Scary. Did you bring your juice boxes? Enough, you sell out. He was. They all are, you know. And Queen, Queen Latifah. Snoop Dogg I mean, is it? Snoop Dogg's real. You go listen to like Queen Latifah. Now she's a friggin' ordained minister, and she's got her own <laughs> daytime talk show. You know, she, she was like the queen of Africa. Uh, for the longest time, I mean, she she was the queen in her music. If you listen to her music, some of her music wasn't all that, uh, you know, happy happy either. So right. it's so weird seeing what happens over a period of twenty years in some of these celebrities. Uh, and, and like I said, we've just become so whiny and bitchy about everything that it's like, okay, well, you know, it's going to offend somebody, so I've got to you know apologize. And it's like, forget that. Quit apologizing. Why are you apologizing? Take your stand. If you're going to be edgy. Be edgy. Here's what I don't it. get. If you're going to speak your mind and you're going to make fun of Iggy Azalea or whenever anything happens with celebrities, be prepared Dude, for I the think... outrage. Be prepared for the phony baloney losers who have nothing better to do than to want an apology. You know that's going to happen. So be a man. Don't falter under the pressure and just let it slide. But no, you have to say you're sorry because words hurt. Ow, words hurt. Wait, shut I, up. Hear, would you stifle it a second, Margaret? Margaret, can you say Iggy Azalea one more time, please? Iggy Azalea. It is so funny when you said it before. When, you, when you're like on ranting, it, it sounded like you were totally stoned. It was, it was so funny. It's three times fast. No, I'm just kidding. But no, it, it's like, oh God, who cares? You know. It, it, TMZ ruined everything. TMZ ruined everything. You know what, S, S Harvey and TMZ, right? And Charles now, Ladd I'm and Dex so Hall, all those trolls. What's up? No, I, I was just listening. I mean, Harvey Levin. Isn't he the guy that stands out on the street talking to people after people's court or something? Yeah, <laughs> now he's a troll who follows celebrities. But heaven forbid you talk about him. He gets mad. He gets uptight. You know, because he's a gay man. Not that that means anything. But if there were pictures yeah. of him at the beach with his boyfriend, he wouldn't want that out there because he deserves the privacy, man. If Charles Ladder Dax Holt had Wait. pictures of them at the club, you wouldn't be allowed to talk about them. But you can follow every celebrity and bother them. Two nights ago, they were covering. Oh, what did Wiz Khalifa do when he broke up with Amber Rose? He was with three girls leaving a club. Of course he is. He's one of the biggest rappers in the game. It's Saturday night, and he's single. <sighs> well, I, I will say this. I will say this. TMZ has managed to scoop some very big stories. Okay, so I, I will, once a year, maybe get, five times will, a year. No, no, no. I mean, come on, let's be fair. I mean, let's let's at least be objective and be fair. They they have beat. I would say, you know, it used to be the Drudge Report. You know, that was that was who you know scooped everybody. But I really have to say, as much as I loathe TMZ, and I think uh, Harvey is is uh, he is so obnoxious. Uh, they still have had a way of, of, of scooping some stories and getting them out there before anybody else has. And I'll, and I'll give them that. That's all. But they do it like whenever something happens. But most of the time it's, did you hear what Dennis Rodman did? He got really drunk and fainted and almost fell off a balcony. Did you hear what Miley Cyrus did? She was twerking at a club. Did you hear what this no-name from the Real Housewives of whatever did? She spent 500000 bucks on lingerie. Like, who cares? Well, my question is, 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 well, there must be somebody there with per multiple personalities because half the time it is legitimate news stories and some of them are actually written well and, and legit. But you can't be TMZ, for God's sake, and try to, you know, do all this uh, smut and do, and I said smut, all, all this stuff, and, and then turn around and try to be a legitimate news outlet? What, are you kidding me? Give me a break. All right, before we let you go, because it's not like we've had you on the phone line for 38 minutes, and frankly, I'm sick of your voice. Where can people find your work online, Dexter? <laughs> I'm kidding. But. Uh, just, just go to Twitter right now. I mean, with the elections and stuff, just, um, you know, everything else I'm, is kind of a, a backseat while I'm, I'm doing, uh, doing work with uh, the campaigns. 
So um, if you just want to follow me on Twitter, hit me up on Twitter at, at Radio Dexter. And you're not That's private fine. anymore, so now they can retweet you, see what you're up to. And, hey, if any of those trolls, if any of those keyboard killers try to get at you, tell them to screw off because it's just words. But then again, oh. I think there's a new thing. Words hurt. Wait. Enough. I don't even read it. But, anyways, thank you guys so much for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, it like I said, it's, it's different than uh, talking to you at 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm one eye open and I've got, you know, toilet paper sticking to my toes. <laughs> you know, stepping on my, kicking my cat out against the wall because the bitch is in the way of, you know, walking in, uh, in the house. So. All right. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. You have a good one, and I might talk to you over the weekend. Sounds good. That was one of my radio mentors. If it wasn't for him, I'm not saying I wouldn't be here, but he's giving me advice. So give him a follow at Radio D E X T E R. He's one of the most outspoken guys I know. He covered Ebola better than anybody that sits behind a nice chair in their fancy suit or right. dress. Right. And, and I guess there's some people in Cleveland freaking out about this whole thing. Yeah, because the girl visited it and then spread it. Yeah. She supposedly, we're not sure if it's true or not, but I heard on Rover's Morning Glory to show out there, that she possibly went to a Kent State football game while having Ebola. <laughs> oh, my God. You're a dummy. The Hockey and Superwood Show. This is an official broadcast of Hoppy Radio. For more info, check out hoppyradio.com and hoppysworld.com.